Good morning. It's Thursday, April the 3rd, and I'm your host for Agoracom TV, Paul Kandakos. Agoracom TV is a daily, fast-paced, edgy show, bringing you the best press releases at the open, along with the halts, so you can hopefully profit from them and potentially find your next great small cap investment. Here at Agoracom, we act as a filter, making sure that you only get the best press releases, and if you like what you hear, you can go back and read the full press release and potentially make your next great small cap investment. First halt I have for you, first and only halt I have for you, Texada Capital Corp trades on the venture under the symbol TXC.P, and they've been halted pending news. Now moving to the next segment of our program, we've got great press releases for you, four of them to be exact. First one I have for you, which is our headliner, Macmillan Gold Corp, trades on the venture under the symbol MMG. They were originally halted on Friday, March 28th, pending news, and subsequently they've released not one, not two, but three great press releases which merit your attention. So the first one that they released was that Macmillan Gold reported positive results from their hole 4 extension at Aguila in Peru. Results from that hole, which is 4A, uh, indicates that they intercepted an average of 0.254% copper and 0.006% molly across its total length of 378 meters. That's right, 378 meters, so very large intercept there. The second press release that they put out is that they reported additional positive results from Rialito Silver Project in Mexico. Uh, what we have here is that they received the final assays from the first two drill holes of 2008, which were completed as part of the currently ongoing Phase 1 diamond drilling program. The results that we have from hole R2 are 30 meters, which totaled 209 uh, grams per ton of silver, and hole R3, which returned 28 meters of 153 grams per ton of silver. So a second great press release. And finally, they released this morning that Duran Ventures and Macmillan Gold have agreed to a business combination. Uh, Duran's offer will result in Macmillan shareholders receiving one share of new Duran for each two shares of Macmillan, and current Duran shareholders will receive one share of the new Duran for each share of Duran that they currently hold. The companies feel that the business combination will remove the uncertainty surrounding the potentially large 5% NSR and improve the efficiency of the development of the Peru assets. They're last at 53 cents off their 52-week high of $1.10. Moving on, next one we have Salazar Resources, trades on the venture under the symbol SRL, and for our European friends, trades on the Frankfurt under the symbol CCG. They've got a drill program at the El Domo Anomaly in Ecuador, and that's what we're reporting on today, uh, that they've extended mineralization for 128 meters at El Domo, at the El Domo Anomaly. Reported results for the drill hole 42 include 8.6 meters of 7.53% zinc, 1.78 grams per ton of gold, 48 grams per ton of silver, 0.9% copper, and 0.52% lead. So we've got a lot of great minerals in that hole. Uh, and within that same hole, we've got another intercept of 9.6 meters of 0.81 grams per ton of gold, 30 grams per ton of silver, 0.1% copper, 0.3.6, 3%. 0.36% lead and 1.13% zinc. And we've got a quote from the PR which states, the results are encouraging in the company uh, in that the company believes it is on the verge of discovering a significant new VMS district in western Ecuador. Uh, a little bit about Salazar, their resource company which is engaged in the exploration and development of new highly prospective areas of Ecuador. They're last at 89 cents off their 52 week high of $4.39. Next one I have for you, Conacher Oil and Gas Limited. Trades on the TSX under the symbol CLL. Conacher is no stranger to Agoracom. They have a very robust community on Agoracom. So if you are a Conacher fan or if you're hearing about this for the first time and will like what you hear what I have to say, definitely check out our community on Agoracom. Conacher Oil. We have a production update coming from the company. They've broken through 7,000 barrels per day of production of daily bitumen production at their Great, pot, at their great Divide Pod 1 project in Alberta's oil sands region. Region. When added together with Conacher's conventional crude oil and natural gas production of 3,600 uh, BOE or barrel of oil equivalent uh, per day, Conacher's daily total production is now approximately 10,600 BOE. So congrats on those numbers, great numbers. Um, Finally, we've got a little bit about Conacher. Conacher Oil and Gas Limited is a Calgary-based Canadian oil and natural gas exploration, development, and production company. So if you're into the energy sector, you like oil, then Conacher is definitely one for you. Uh, last at 321, off their 52-week high of $4.43. And finally, we've got Taihe Development Corp. Trades on the venture under the symbol TDC. Once again, no stranger to Agoracom. They've got a very robust community here on Agoracom. So if you're either an existing shareholder or you like what I'm about to say, then definitely 
check out the community there because you'll find more great information. Uh, Ty, he has an update to the measured and indicated gold resource at the Nicholas Lake Yellowknife Gold Project in Northwestern Territories, Canada. We've got a, re a revision to the existing 2007 NI43101, which is the National Instrument 43101 estimate of the Nicholas Lake Gold Resource. The new resource reflects a change in approach to allow for bulk mining techniques, so that's good news there. Now we've got some numbers. The measured and indicated gold resource has increased by 27% to 311,000 ounces of gold, and the inferred gold resource has increased by 22% to 120,000 ounces of gold. So great news there. Congratulations, guys. Taihe Development Corp is, a Corp is a gold exploration and development company currently focused on the historic Yellowknife Gold Camp in the Northwestern Territories of Canada. The last at 51 cents, off their 52 week high of 82 cents. And that's a wrap for today. Make sure you tune in again tomorrow, and we've got more great press release headlines for you.